Hello, uh, my name is Garrett Max, and I work for DragonScripting.com. Um, today we're going to be going over uh, a good one. It's um, it's a while statement. Um, Sigmund is going to be part of our fundamentals, but it is more on the complicated side of the fundamentals. Um, it's one of the first commands or first statements that I really thought was super cool, except for uh, the if then. Um, but it basically allows uh, for a program to continue running um, even when you start programming outside of Dragon. Um, it, it continue makes it makes a program run until you tell it to turn off. It basically while um, it can be used in a couple of different ways. So we'll get into that actually. Um, so it can be used in, in a couple of different ways, and I have that in here. Um, it can be used as a, a um, constant on or off switch. Um, one on, two off, um, kind of like an if statement is though. Like you can say if this is related to this, then do this. But this doesn't do that way. It just constantly loops while one thing is different. So you'd have to turn it off uh, in order for it to stop. Um, that's one way, and that that's how I made my first program. It's the calculators. The calculator was on until I turned it, told it to turn off, um, and that's with using the while statement because um, then it'll just loop back to where it was. The other way to do it is use it as a counter. So what this is right here is while i is less than or equal to 3 then come up with this message box. There's so there's two of them in here. So the main whole part of this is the while on off is equal to 1 which you already say that this is here. If we don't state this in the beginning of it, we turn it off then it never turns on because on off doesn't have a value of 1. So it doesn't know, it says it just has a value of null at this point, so we, it won't ever turn on this, this program that we've written. So we have to say that the variable is on off, take that as maybe clicking on the program to open it up, is that we're turning it on by, by having this one there. Okay, so at that point, while on off is equal to one, everything inside here is gonna constantly run until we turn it off. But where is it that we turn it off? Um, is that it has to be within this command itself. If, if there is nothing in here, which is actually this part, if there's nothing in here to tell it to turn off, then we have this set of instructions, but it never you, you never see on off mentioned in here. So at this point, if we were to just run this, if I were to press play, it would just run in a constant circle, just over and over again. And this happens in programs all the time. Um, it's, it's, a, it's when you get things that are not responding, um, usually there's things that are timeouts that prevent these things um, from continuous loop. It's just a continuous loop. It just goes over and over and over again. It can't be stopped until you turn off the program, restart your computer. It's the reason why, you know, as tech people have you restart your computer all the time, um, is it'll turn off these loops that happen. Um, and this is one of them. And so be careful with this. Make sure there's a way off. So with that being said, um, actually we'll just, yeah, with that being said, we'll, we'll show you how to, oops, oh, did I copy that? I did. Uh, I'll fix this. Uh, yes, I do. Okay. So, and we got our statement back there. Okay. So now, with that being said, here's where we turn it off. I'm going to have a message box that comes up every time this loops, and the message box is going to say, "Is it okay to continue?" And then, if it's okay, then it'll continue. But if anything else is pressed, it'll turn on off to two. And at this point while on off equals one won't exist anymore so this whole thing will cancel out and it'll end the command so that's where we're just turning off and you always have to make sure you turn it off otherwise it'll just keep looping and looping and looping there's other ways to do it and with other there's doing two loops and there's error checker that will go through um, with while statements you, you gotta pretty much turn it off I use it this way um, the other way is with this so you have while and then you have the while end, ends the while. Those are the two statements used for this. And then everything inside of that is what runs based on if this statement is correct um, or true. So inside of here, we also have another one. We have while and while end. And so if while i is less than or equal to 3, then give a message box stating what the value of i is. After that, you know, let's make this a little bit easier. Um, So I, and then after that while i equals i plus one. So if i equals zero here, then in here it's gonna while so it's gonna be zero is less than negative three. That's true. So we do these instructions. Then zero is equal to zero plus one, so i then becomes one. And that loops back and forth until i equals three. 
less than or equal to, and then it pops off to the next question. So when we run it, we have 0, i is equal to 0, i is equal to 1, 2, 3, and then it's going to ask us, do we want to continue? Yeah, we'll continue. Then it just goes, it says, okay, was pressed right here, and it goes back, and it says, okay, on off is still equal to 1, so we're going to run the same program, 1, 2, 3, and we're going to run it again and again and again and again and again and again, and it'll keep running as long as we're pressing okay until it says continue, and it's like, no, we don't want to continue. And then at that point, when we pressed cancel, it went to else, and on off became equal to 2. So now this while turns off at this point, and the command ends. Um, so this is that's that's how a while uh, statement works is using while, and then the statement that's there, um, if that's true, and then the w end that that loops it off. And that's why I structured it this way, is that I always try to keep my um, my levels consistent. So this is the level that holds all this information, kind of like a box, and then. This is the level that holds this information that's going to run in there. So that's all organization um, that you'll learn how to do through time. Um, so this is just basically going over to tell you how, how you got to be careful with these. Um, they will lock up your system. I'm going to go through three different types of loops. Um, I do loop, for loop, and this while um, and, and the fundamentals. And this does have the possibility of mm, shutting down whatever you're working on. So make sure you save everything before you start working with these. Um, close any other programs down that you don't need because um, if you don't get this right it'll lock up your system As, and you have to make sure that you include some way of turning it off. Um, you can even do this part down here and you can say okay uh, that I equals or you can do like uh, D equals d plus 1 and then we can go or d equals to 100 okay and that can just be um, and then I can say d equals 0 and so that means that this command will run over and over again until 100 uh, and this will just be a, a basic error and just in case in case something here doesn't work we have another one here that says okay if this just continues to run forever, so if I took this out, this would run. Well, we'll just do it real quick. So it'll run a hundred times, or in this case, I'm going to make it five, so I can show you. Um, and then eventually, d will equal to five, and it'll. I'm just checking it real quick, and it'll turn itself off at that point. One, two, three, four. So d is equal to one. D is equal to two. D is equal to three. D is equal to four, and hopefully. I think I messed something up here. <laughs> okay, so I messed something up. Luckily, I'll be able to turn off this program. But see, at this point, I'm I'm locked up. I can't really do anything about it. I probably, no, I can't do anything. So it's, this is a good example. <laughs> I, I coded it wrong. Um, I'm not sure where I coded it wrong, but it doesn't really matter because it's a good idea to show you that this thing just doesn't turn off now. There's no way for me to turn it off. Um, so don't do that. <laughs> make sure you have your error, uh, your error checker in there, make sure you have everything right, make sure you have everything saved, and then go ahead and run it. Um, but this is very useful to keep a command running, to keep a program running, to keep something up uh, that you want to maintain being up. You don't want it to just end at the beginning, you want it to loop back to the beginning and, and recapture everything in your statement. Usually it has to do with really long commands is when you're going to start using this, when, you, when you're actually not running scripts or not running short codes something that you're actually making a program is when you start using um, a while um, and it could also be a variable too but there's there's other ones too and then there's pros and cons of all of them but this is the main thing I like to use while for um, and now it's messed up so again there's gonna be do loop and for loops as well um, we'll go over the pros and cons of those and they'll have the similar um, problem but thank you very much for watching I hope you learned something from it um, don't make yourself in a loop like this um, so please give us some feedback on the if it, or a like on the video if you like how we get stuck in loops um, give us some feedback tell us what you think if this is educational um, we also have a website dragonscripting.com um, there's more uh, commands and tutorial videos available that we don't have on YouTube um, we also have a mailing list if you want to keep up to date with all the newest stuff we have we put stuff out every day um, thank you very much for your time